Dr. Budoff, what is the FCR? The FCR, or flexor carpi radialis tendon, is right here. It's a tendon that makes you flex your wrist. You use it when you're lifting with the palm up or pressing down, such as when typing or using a keyboard. I've been seeing a lot of FCR tendonitis recently, so I wanted to do a video on it to discuss it. How do you diagnose FCR tendonitis? Pretty simple diagnosis. Uh, it hurts right about here, especially when lifting with the palm up or using the keyboard, pressing down on it. Uh, it hurts when you resist flexing the wrist. And then an injection can help with the diagnosis. So if, you, if your mouth hurts and you go to the dentist and he numbs the tooth and the pain goes away, that's the tooth confirms the diagnosis. Same thing here. The FCR tendon runs in this tunnel, just like the carpal tunnel nerve does, the trigger finger tendon does, the decrepitance tendon does. They're all the same process with different structures involved. So if I place an injection into the FCR sheath, and the pain goes away, that's the diagnosis. What happens if you don't treat FCR tendonitis? If you don't treat it, you got what you got. It's not going to kill you, paralyze you, shorten your life, or cause cancer but it can be annoying and uh, problematic. How is FCR tendonitis treated? As usual, we start slow. If you need to lift, lift with the palm down, like grabbing a suitcase, not with the palm up. When you're typing, you may want to try to alter your workstation. Uh, it's basically just trial and error. You want to raise or lower the keyboard so you're not pressing down continually on it. When you type, um, you can get a splint to brace the wrist for when you're doing any lifting or typing. Uh, if that doesn't work, I would do an injection. Again, it's a space problem. People get it a lot from overused typing, lifting, then you get a little bit of swelling in the sheath. So now there's a space problem. It's like trying to get a 10 foot truck under a nine and a half foot bridge. First thing you want to do is let some air out of the tire. That's the injection. If that doesn't work, there's a minimally invasive release. Um, it's surgical, but it only takes a few minutes. It's done as an outpatient procedure, uh, hardly hurts, and um, people do really well from it. Thank you for your time today, Dr. Bula. Thank you.